Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Today I'm at my mom's Jeez, place and I got like 3 kg of keema minced meat to make some meatballs. We were like I think yesterday Ammi Log were trying to get some green chilies and all the stores were out of the green chilies. There were no green chilies at all but I got some today. So I'm just drawing the meat here. I'm making for 3 kgs. We are making it in bulk. That's what usually I do so then I can use it, use it in different recipes for the kids. And I'm here at Ami's place so that she said she would help me because, yeah. So I'm drying up the quinoa. The quinoa should not be watery for the meatballs. So just dry it with a paper towel. Or even if you have a basket, you can even drain your quinoa one time, but like no washing. Here, my mom is, we are now getting things ready to be put in the meatballs. My mom is going to blend onion, green chilies. So we're gonna show you as we do what we are putting in the mixture. Some shredded coconut going in. So until now, it's shredded coconut, green chilies, onion, our dried meat, no excess water. So now I'm going to do some ginger and garlic. I mean, do we eat? Do we add ginger too? So, uh, ginger bidalna. So we have to add ginger. We have to add garlic. So now. We're going to blend this, these are onion, shredded coconut, green chilies, almonds, and I'm going to peel the garlic, some lemon juice going in it. Doing lemon, Mama is adding chili flakes. Okay. Oh, oops, oops. The lemon is flying away. And some salt going in.
Some water going in so that all the we can blend everything. Now my mom is adding some chickpea flour or basin. We also call it basin, uh, but it's actually chickpea flour. Um, we are adding a little bit of the oil in the pan and um, to roast it. Uh, we are not going to burn it, but just roast a little bit in some oil on the medium, medium flame. I always enjoy working together in the kitchen with my mom or my sisters and even with the friends. It's such a good activity to, uh, to do together. Adding some more oil so that the chickpea flour can be roasted well. This is a super delicious recipe for the meatballs. My sister Mariam will be here from Vancouver soon and we are so much looking forward to it. Um, to spend some summer days together. Please comment on my videos and let me know if you like uh, my vlogs and also if you need to um, if you need me to share the recipe uh, I can always write it in the description The chickpea flour is almost roasted. The chickpea mixture just so mama added the chickpea mixture to the keema here. Literally smell it. Oh my god, the spices! Yummy. I think it's yummy. I think the spices are yummy. I think so too. I can smell them like the aroma of the spices in it. The smell so is so good. Good, yeah. and some chopped coriander to our mixture. Oh 
Okay, Mama, can you see if this good? Okay, I have to do some more coriander. Okay, so now the chopped onions going in. My sister Aisha is here visiting Ami too. Time to mix everything. Because our chemo was like a lot, so it is a lot of work to mix because we are making in large quantity. So. My sister Aisha was here too. So mom, uh, me and Aisha, we had some chit, -ch -chit chat uh, while making meatballs. Um, once you're working alone you kind of have no choice like when you're at your home you have to work alone in the kitchen but trust me it's so much fun when you work with a couple of people like your family members or friends in the kitchen it's so much fun um our sister mariam uh is visiting us soon from vancouver um and that is the reason too that we are making this big batch um she will be here soon with us to spend some summer and we are really waiting for the time. Um, I always do a big batch of meatballs. Uh, the reason is that um, you can use it in so many ways uh, because we are going to cook these and then freeze them. So they come in handy so much like um, you like I use mine uh, like I make meat pilau meatballs pilau um, I can I make meatball biryani when once I have them ready in the freezer I just have to take them out and uh, microwave them and they are good to use I can make meatballs gravy I can I either do meatballs and sauce with some uh, spaghetti for the kids so now we are cooking the meatballs so there's so many ways we can use them once they are ready and handy so we are cooking the meatballs now um, we cover them and cook them for half an hour and and turn them one time in between change their sides we change the sides in between and cover them and cook for half an hour so they're ready and once they cool down, they are ready to freeze. Once they are cooked and cooled down, they are ready to freeze. Our meatballs are ready and we made about 120 meatballs something. Thanks for watching and you all stay blessed.